Romans 8.19 For the earnest expectation of the creation waits eagerly for the revealing of the sons of God. Oh, amen. I was telling my kids about this as well. The earth is tired of being sick too. All of creation was affected by the fall because of sin. Look, creation was subjected to futility, not willingly, but because of him who subjected it, in hope that the creation itself also will be set free from its slavery to corruption into the freedom of the glory of the children of God. For we know that the whole creation groans and suffers the pains of childbirth together until now. Man is prone to blame God for the bad things in the world at the very same time as complaining that he does nothing about it. But it's all because of sin. And if you go back to the fall in Genesis 3, the blame would be on the liar, not the creator. And yes, the creator does do something. Like a loving father, he has consequences, hoping we make the right choices. But we continue to follow the liar and continue to whine and complain about a fallen world. But we don't blame sin. We don't take responsibility and turn back to God with apologies. It's a prideful, vicious cycle that gets us nowhere and our enemy knows it. We as believers also groan within. Even though we have the first fruits of the Spirit, we also wait eagerly for our adoption as sons, the redemption of our body. His creation knows and his people know, but those that don't understand complain with no hope. I'm trying to share that hope. For in hope we have been saved, but hope that is seen is not hope. For who hopes for what he already sees? But if we hope for what we do not see, with perseverance we wait eagerly for it. Continue to persevere, believers, eagerly, with earnest expectation, in hope to be set free from this body, this life, this world of sin and death, of slavery and corruption from the liar. We are children of God, adopted in. His family will be welcomed home. The time of the breaking forth of children will come. The rapture will come. You can be his child too. Stop following the liar and you will find hope unto salvation instead of corruption, fear, death, and hell.